Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. Today I'm going to be doing a honey bee cutout removal, and I'm here in Melrose, Idaho, just just up uh, up the hill from Peck. This colony is here in this wall, as you can see, of this little gas shed. They have an entrance up high here. That they're actively using. But there's also one down here. So I'm curious to see what I'm going to find once I get this wall opened up. All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is give him a shot of smoke and let him settle down a little bit and then we'll go ahead and uh, start removing the old composite siding off the side. Well, I found the bottom of it. Oh, I got him, I got him wild. Yeah, I do. 
Well, we found the bottom of it. Did you? Yeah. We'll see how far up they go. Four. I'm thinking they go all the way up. Yeah. Higher, but. Well, I'll start. They got a lot of brood in here, which is good. That's what you're looking for? Yeah, I'm looking for this brood. So it's right here. And yeah. Some pollen and stuff. I'll start. I'll start cutting this out right now and putting it into uh, into frames. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start vacuuming bees off and, uh, and, cutting, and cutting segments of brood comb out and putting them in frames and installing them in my box. Okay, so well, I've just been vacuuming and uh, cutting, cutting brood out. There's just a huge amount of brood in here and a huge amount of bees. I'm just going to keep right on working at it. This is brood here. It's got freshly laid eggs, the larva. I have still not found the queen yet. Might be two or three in here.
All right, so we're making progress. I think that the I think that the colony goes completely up to the roof. I won't be able to remove that next board up because of that wire there. So looks like it's honey up above what I can see, but the rest is a brood comb below that. I've already got over half a box of brood comb. It's important to orient your brood comb in the same direction that it is naturally, so you don't want to turn it on its side or or uh, upside down. You want to keep it the same up down that it is in the natural state. I'll cut a little more out here. All right, so I found a clean, small clean. Don't know if it's a uh, replacement after a uh, swarm or what's going on here. Um, but I got her my clean clip. I'm going to put her in the hive. See if you can see her in here. on this side. There we go. All right. I'll put her in the in the in the box. <clears throat> okay, so I've got the bees uh, gathered up and it took two two boxes to get them uh, enough space to get them in uh, my bee vac is, is pretty close to full I took the lid off of it so they can ventilate take a break got all the honey about a five gallon bucket full of honey and uh, it's looking good I got the queen she's in the box uh, bees are starting to settle down a little bit um, I'll give them a couple hours. I'll come back, see how it looks. If they're still, if they clustered up somewhere, I'll vacuum them up. All right, so I've got them gathered up. It took 10 frames of brood in the bottom box and four frames of brood in the top box. Uh, the bee vac is also completely full of bees, and uh, I pulled the top off of it to uh, to let it. let the bees fan for a while, cool off, and uh, I'm going to let them settle down here for an hour or so and then come back and vacuum up whoever it needs to be vacuumed up. Alright, well that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope that you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.